storm is over and we're going to go make sure look at that it's a pretty day beautiful gorgeous huh just like in real life you get a sun and a moon that's not the sun is it i have no clue well well the storm is over which means that in all reality we need to be gathering hunting and gathering ah uh, let's see here see we're making military pillars for protection and boy, i really want to run over there and see if that thing is still there I wonder if I could get up this far without it busting open. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to do a flyover. Right now, let's go get sand on frigid. Oh, look it. Things are starting to spawn in. That's great. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys something that's so cool. I'm sure that you've seen it on a million arcs already, but let's go get it. And then we'll take Frigid and Perry over and get sand. Let's, yeah, there's nothing really over there that can grab all that. Okay, and how are we doing here? Let's see. Um, metal. Uh, 325 and uh, let's see we almost have a thousand we have a whole 18 wood check it out guys boy that went quick and then over here what do we have we have charcoal and uh, can we pick it up without Oh dear. Right. And then we will we'll have over a thousand. I don't even know how many it takes to do one pillar. It takes a lot. And um, I had to get rid of the smithy that was here, the pimped smithy. So I'm thinking about putting a CS table down here instead of having to, to cart all the metal right up these stairs all the way up to the other crafting one that is up here. I don't know how much metal is in here now, but um, see there's only 10. So it'd be really easy for us to, to transfer everything. In fact, we might be able to take it now. Yeah, we'll just leave it up here just in case, but we'll make another one. <clears throat> and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that stuff in here until we have the table. Cause there's no sense just moving everything around with us while we're walking. Okay, so I was in the middle of, I have so much I wanna do. I still wanna make all of the great things to blow up elementals with. I have never had a mean bone in my body until I came across the elementals. And now I know what it's like to play all the other kinds of games get really excited because you're like oh my god something like that just cannot live can't allow it oh there's some more wood i wonder why they didn't combine it's kind of interesting huh and then let's get just this little piece of charcoal here we'll just leave that be these two are just humming along for all the hours that we're playing and um we have enough um take the cementing paste with us and I was thought maybe while we were in here, we could take some of this stuff and put it away. Oh, look at this. We have to stand in the middle for this one. Yeah. Okay, so let's move the sand since that was what the whole excursion before this last excursion was all about and check out to see if there's any more. Is there any more? I'm looking for cactus syrup. <laughs> Cactus sap. <clears throat> Pardon me, everybody on Ark. And um, here's a narco berry. 
No, we're not going to do that right now. Right now I want to do charcoal. I'll leave the cementing paste in here. We want to do charcoal and spark powder. And I don't really remember what the how much you need for each one to make gunpowder. Let's see. One spark powder to one charcoal. Oh, that's I oh, well. We'll just do what we can do. One, two. And I want you to know that sometimes when you're out here, it doesn't make any more than a thousand at a time. So if, even if there's 2,000 things that you can make, you only get a thousand of them at a time. So, all right, here we go. So if you have a lot, divide it. And what do we have in here? Uh, we have some clay. Let's see, why didn't that continue on? Because it had a thousand in it the last time. And then here, we don't have anything. Okay, so right now we're gonna take this clay here and we're gonna take this sand and then I'm gonna run over to the refrigerator really quick. This is where all the narco berries and everything are because I was gonna start um, well, I'm doing a thing, huh? Mm, let's do the narco berries in this one. And we'll do, we'll just leave this one, continue on. It's Merry Way. And then we'll get over here, we'll get some, a more spoiled meat, and we'll get the cactus sap. I'm sure we're not gonna need all that cactus sap. Um, I'm really certain. And the most exciting thing that we ever do pick up the poop. Yeah. At first, you don't want to. When you're very first, very first playing, you're like, I don't want to do that. And then you realize that you need to do it if you're going to grow crops. Now see, even though we could make more, it's only going to allow me to make a thousand. So we'll have to come back in a thousand. And right now we'll put this in here. And, well, we can just start it. Uh, let's just start them. And there was a little bit more. Uh, oh, I'm going to sell some right here. Here it is. So it's in the last one that we're making this. Okay. Narcotics. Okay, so let's go over here. Right over here. Like so. And we'll get some of the spoiled meat. Uh, meat walker. And here we are again. Here we go. So now let's just make more narcotic. I don't, um, gee, I guess you have to make that up with the fabricator. Let's find out how much it takes. Okay, rocket homing missile, gunpowder, polymer, and metal. We have the cementing paste, the crystal, and the electronics already. You know, I'm wondering if this uh, trajectory with autocorrection would be better than the other one. I thought about that last night. Okay, so we need gunpowder, polymer, and metal. Well, we know that we can get the polymer in gobs by killing gobs of mantises. They, each one of them actually gives you an awful lot. And here's the metal. And so if we wanted to start ferrying metal up, we'd have to do it in blocks of, let's see. Um, do we have enough? Uh, 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 nope. 324, whoopee ding. Okay. Which makes a lot of sense for having everything on the bottom floor. Except when you first start, you don't have that luxury because everything is gonna be you know, in this little tiny space. And like you can see from all of everybody else's stuff, it is really tough to continually um, have to get sap and cactus sap and sand. And it, you're just like, holy smokes. Well, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Since we had to do the experiment, I found out that um, all of these mortars and pestles that we had here wouldn't make clay because they were with the old uh, revision of ARC. And so I just uh, tore them all out and made new ones and 
It's fabulous. We're just on our way here. So we're gunpowdering over here. Uh, we already have 275. We'll take them with us when we take up the next load. And we'll get this gunpowder here. And we'll go see if there's any more polymer over here. Because remember I said there was a timer on it. And, and we still have 312. So let's take that up with us. And then just grab whatever metal that we can take with this. Might as well grab it out of here. Here's 26. And here's 25. Uh, we can take about another almost 100 pounds of stuff left over. So let's see here. Uh, yeah, oh, another 100 pounds. Uh, oh, excuse me just for a second. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Thank you. Oh. Wow. Oh, I'll do that later. I didn't even know we had more of sand. That is wonderful. All right, here we go. Climbing up the stairs. And it is just such a tragedy. It's tragic that you can't put weight, 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 weight into everything over here. But you have to have your fortitude or you're not going to last at all. Okay, so here's our homing. See, look at that. We get to turn this on. And this time we're going to, oh, we get to craft one. I wonder we out of cementing paste. How much cementing paste does it take? cementing paste. We just have to find it. Uh, okay. I'm sure it's right in that one cabinet that we were just in, huh? Well, let's grab some more metal on our way up. And um, let's see how much we weigh now. Oh, see, we can make it. Let's go up again. Make you dizzy watching it, huh? Ugh. All right. And some more cementing paste. More homing missiles. Let's turn it on. See how many we can do this time. <gasps> 10. That's exactly what we want. We've already made the auto turret, and I'm going to have to make some more on them. Because I'm going to put them out. See, I had some rocket propelled grenades, but I think the homing missile is going to be better. Hopefully that it homes in where the crosshairs are, because sometimes you have to aim a little bit higher or a little bit lower, you know, for trajectory. And um, here's a compound bow. Anybody ever used one? I've never used one. Let's see, max durability 100%. Uh, weapon damage. Uh -huh. No, let's save stuff. We have to save everything. We could make some more electronics. How many electronics do we have left? I could make a um, hundred. See all the gas. We're never going to use all this gas. And we're never going to have enough food to eat unless everybody comes and joins me on our server. Void Den. V O I D D E N. Void Den. That's our name of our um, server. So here we are, guys drop some weight. You know what I wanted to do? I really, before I even started this, I wanted to get the sand and I wanted to move it over so that we can start making some clay with it. I thought we can just walk with it, huh? Mm -hmm. Hello. Okay, so here's some more sand and let's just do the rest of them. How are we doing? Here? We don't have any more sand in here, right? No more sand. Okay, how's this coming along? Uh, gosh, that's going to be forever. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, how about you? I'm going to take the gunpowder with me. Okay, and then let's take half of this metal. 
and go back up and see. Oh. How are we doing? How's everybody doing out there tonight? I hope that you're having a lovely evening. You know, I I want you to know that at 70, I, I love life just like I did when I was 7, 8, 9, and 10. I mean, you want to play, you want to have a good time in life, you want to have fun, you want to laugh, you want to dance, you know. So grandma, my grandma was right when she said your mind is exactly the same when you're young as when you're old. It's your body that you, you know, may not want to mess with and you, who knows, you may think that there's nothing for you to do. Well, buy a computer, have, you know, Windows or, or Apple and, and do something. Even if it's just playing games on it, it's worth it. Look at this auto, auto turret. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, what else can we make? <gasps> There's our homing, homing missiles. So, uh, let's look again here. Um, uh, out of crystal. Oh, we have more of that. Of course, I don't want to go overboard and make so many of them that, you know, I don't even have metal for plain bullets. <laughs> Which actually can happen, you know, if you get if you get overloaded. Okay, let's just put all these right here while I run that crystal up there. And um, oh god, that's so funny. Yeah, just go ahead and build everything uh, to take out something big and not have anything just to take out the small things. Let's take some of this back down with us because we have to. And I can always bring it back later, after we make more. Okay, because remember we were making, oh, we're supposed to be making. Okay, we need to make pillars, you're right. But first of all, we need ammo. Okay, so what do we have? We have uh, weapons and we have ammo and we need simple, ammo and we need gunpowder which we just took everything up to the other side didn't we of course we did and uh 148 and um, let's see here what do we have in here that i can have some look at that i told you probably gobs of it and uh here's some more charcoal i had these on during the storm so we could see And it was such a neat storm. So cool. So, anyway, there's nothing uh, more than I like to do than build and tame. Uh, getting all this other stuff together is just, it's really tough, guys. Well, you don't want to do it, but you have to do it. So other people just say, excuse me, I'll be right back. But right now, I just thought, you'd like just to join me and we could do this together. And let's just stick these together. I don't know why they won't join up together when they're in an inventory. Uh, okay, so we were gonna put, uh, look at this, sand, it's clay. Because the big uh, gates that you see out there, the behemoth gates, you have to make them in here. But it doesn't let you make them uh, in your craftables. You actually have to make them in here. See, the great giant adobe hatch frame and the behemoth gates you have to make inside this smithy. So uh, what are we doing? We're getting together. Um, how many bullets can we make while we're here? Because I know that it takes a lot of gunpowder. Uh, one more weapons, ammo, simple ammo. See, so we can only make 26. Oh, uh, rattles. Let's go get, let's go get the gunpowder back. We have more things that we have to do with it. 
better things. Not fun things, but more better things. Look at that, we're already so... What is that running around out there? We're not high up enough to see. The only ones that attack the outside are the terror birds. They just, they love to come over and just attack. I guess because the building is in the way. Uh, well, I was trying to get the charcoal. I know there's not going to be much left, but every little bit helps when you're making gunpowder. See, we'll, we'll have a lot of it by the end of the evening, but for right now, we need to make as much as we can. So let's put this tiny bit in here and um, make 78 of them. Well, that's nice. How are we doing here, guys? Just in case. And now we, look at all the clay we're gonna have. That's just really formidable, very formidable. Nice clay. Uh, can I join these guys together? Well, that's nice. Hmm. Okay, so we have about 10,000 of those. And we have uh, more supplies. How are we doing here? So, good grief. It's still going. I'm just gonna let it be. It takes a long time. Okay, and this clay here, and I'll grab this cactus sap and we'll put it back. Uh, I'll put this sand over here and this other one. Okay, first of all, let's get rid of the clay. What if I can join them up? See? Look at that. So much easier to count, see how much you have when it's all in big numbers. How oh, cool, huh? You know, just piddle around, do nothing. <laughs> just stand around and combine things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <clears throat> it just is sort of funny to me that you could just stand around, join things together. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm just going to let that be for now. And how's this coming? This is probably already done. Okay. And I'm just going to put this bark powder back. Right up in here. And it'll go right there. Okay, so we're just taking gunpowder and metal with this over here and put the cactus sap back in the fridge. Yeah, let's see here. That's a lot of it left over. And we got enough to do about another 4,000 things of sand. I don't know if it's in pounds or what, but whatever it is, it's a lot. Okay, so we were doing bullets. Mm-hmm, mm hmm mm hmm And ammo. Did I get enough here? 82. Okay, so we'll have almost 100 for our little rifle. And I'll put this silk away. And we can put that over here. Look at that, pretty, huh? Black pearls. I don't know what we're gonna use them for, but I also brought over some pelt that uh, I've been gathering up. Here's some more fiber and thatch. Most important things besides sand and sap. Uh, huh. Look at the pelt oh no. Come on guys. Oh my goodness sakes, look at this. Oh, how exciting, more sand. We have things to do. Yeah. I know where the pelt is. Oh, I better um, shut the doors. Uh. Ooh, put your ears back.
see, not only are they making, look at that, put their ears back. Oh, wow. Well, now we have to find out what that means. Sticking their, oh my goodness, they're right. They have different, different antics for everything, so we want to keep that pelt. Here's some wood. And I think we can take this without too much problems. Oh my goodness. We'll have to come back. See? So we do have busy work we can do. Don't you just love busy work? So we need to write down... Oh, my favorite thing. been a lot to be said about living in the valley. We don't get to see the weather coming. But we will write down what it means when they put their ears back. What am I doing? Okay, first of all, we need to open up this one. And we need to put this in here. And then we need to go over here and put these in here for building. And we have to figure out how many of everything we're gonna need. Okay, and uh, was there any more thatch over here? Yeah, there was a, the thatch and the sand we wanted to move. And that's what we're gonna do. Oh my goodness. I don't know if they're as loud for you as they are for me, but these guys are loud. Whoa. <laughs> they're really loud. Boy gonna be a doozy of whatever it's gonna be. Okay, so we're gonna need more. Ugh, not far enough. There we go. Sand. Huh. Another electrical storm? Wow, we never have two. That's incredible. Well, now we know when they put their ears back. What it means. It means we're going to have another storm. Wow. Huh. Can I leave? Uh, maybe Come back and start this up again. Wow! And we just put the lights out. <laughs> we had to go put the lights back on. Ah. Ah, okay, let's do that then. Oh my gosh. Middle of the day, I turn the lights on. Just like in Oregon when it's raining and it's black clouds everywhere. Oh my goodness. You have to use your parking lights on or even your headlights just to drive around. <laughs> Let's see, we were gonna go get the narco berries and start those up, and then we were gonna get some more sap. God, everybody needs more sap. And I lost one of my saber tubes, and it was my fault. And I can't walk because I'm overburdened by fruit. Fruit say so. Okay, yep, that's what it was. I was overburdened by fruit. I noticed that on all the maps, that eventually you start throwing the fruit away. I mean, it just... When you have a Bronto and it sweeps its tail and picks up like 10 million things of fruit, which is sort of like, oh, isn't that nice? Okay, so let's add some more. See? Can craft 88 more. We're just buzzing along. And we can put some narco berries in here. 
and we'll be just making more. One, two, three, hundred and ninety more. I mean, since narco berries and spoiled meat are the only things that you need for this recipe. And um, where should we keep our pelt? Let's keep it in here because we have to make um, insect repellent with it. And we'll put the hide over here, even though we're not making gasoline anymore. I remember where it's at when it's here. And I'll put my sleeping bag back on. And there's some more fruit. Uh, my, my GPS. Is, we can put this away. This is our stimulant that we always want to keep with us in case we get. Oh, we're carrying around a 70 pound wind turbine. I wondered why we were having so much fun getting, oh, here's more fruit, getting overweight, 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 oh, we have it, might as well keep it, uh, we're overweight, okay, I'll take half of them, so anyway, come and join me, and, um, we're, we're making up uh, things. I'm going to make the little um, depots by all the little water wells. I think that that would be great because not everybody has Argentavises and moss when they start out. Uh, they're lucky. And remember, you know, parasaurs, even though people think that the, it's a lower beast, it's really nice. They're easy to tame and um, they're the first thing that you can tame that gets you up high enough that you can see. And if you actually put a little bit of speed and a little bit of melee damage in them, they can kill a lot of things. You'd be surprised at what you can do with a parasaur. So don't ever be, you know, feel like, oh, they're beneath me. I think I'll wait and get something better. Just get yourself a parasaur at the beginning. I mean, they are great. Um, I called my first one happy, and because uh, I was happy that I had a first one. It was my very first tame in my whole life, and I was so excited, guys. I, you can't even believe I was so excited. Oh my goodness, I'll never forget happy. So anyway, that being said and all that, see, look at this. We have to do so much running around and getting, when I'm in a hurry, I throw things in that middle cabinet. right here. I just dump all my inventory because sometimes things are getting killed. Sometimes you have to unload things. Um, I just put that over here. I didn't want to. It's in the end one. This is where it's at. I'm going to need more narco berries someday, but I mean, look how much we have already. Look at this. We already have almost 3,000 narcotics, unless everybody and Ark comes in and helps me. You know, I mean, who's ever going to use 3,000 narcotics for that? I don't know. Here's more fruit. I wasn't keeping stem berries at the beginning. And um, then I found out how important they are in a lot of the recipes. So I keep them in the cabinet here with all of the spark powder and stuff. I mean, I have them in the second cabinet, my fruit cabinet, too, because they're also great for paint. They make white paint. So, um, you know, it, it, everything has a use. Nothing is left out. Ever. Okay, so here we are. Here we are. Okay, and then, you know, I'm going to leave the wind turbine over here and the uh, stuff with all of them this and I'm going to put it up at the top so that I can remember do I already have one? I didn't drop it I have two of them already well, hot dig, because that means that I can take in one and put it by Sliz's place, and even then build another place out in the boondocks. And I have two refrigerators. I'm going to put this up at the top. 
right up here. Next, before I'm all my electrical stuff. Oh, look, at we have more wall torches. I'm going to put those out around. Uh, look for two guys. Uh, big cage, dinosaur gateway. I really like making them out of wood because they're the kind that you can pick up. And um, they're fantastic just for starters. You can put them down until you can make all your stuff with Adobe. And here's a uh, poor lonely little electrical generator that's never going to be used. Hey, look at those pretty blue eyes. There you go. And purple and gray. Boy, now that would appeal to a lot of kids. They love purple and gray. And it needs fruit. Uh, I know this sounds silly, but I've been upping them in melee damage. Because, I mean, they're not going to take 74 pounds of fruit. And, I mean, really. <laughs> I mean, what else are you going to do? I don't know. Okay, so anyway, and there was something I wanted to try that was really interesting. Somebody said in one of the little bloggy things that you could do spark powder, you know? So let's do that and just try it to see if you can put it in a wall torch and it actually burn. I, I'm just fascinated to try it out. It doesn't have to be much. We don't want to waste our spark powder because we use it for so many other things. Okay, so let's see, we got this one over here. What do we have in it? We have thatch right now. Let's put this. Oh my golly, it does work. Oh. Well, folks, you heard it here. It doesn't say that you can do it anywhere, but I just heard that you could. So I thought, oh, let's try it. And yep, you can try it, and it works. I am so impressed. Thank you, person, whoever I read it from, because that is a nice thing to know. Okay, so we're gonna go over here and use our spark powder, powder for um, gunpowder. We're not wasting spark powder on anything, even though it's you take out a Ankylosaurus and you get stone and tons of flint, even in a sand rock. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. I thought maybe it would give me a lot of sand, but no, it just has to be the poor little doe dip through the sand and the Ankylo does. And this is another thing I wanted to see. Here's an Ankylo right here. See, it's got my saddle on it. And here it is. Trisha, and she's got flint and stone, of course she does. What else would she have in her? No food, but all that. Oh, oh look, we can put her up and wait. And then I walked over here. Actually, we can run. I mean, who wants to walk? And here is an Anklo. That I never even named. And then here's another one. Oh my, that's a lot of levels. 608, wow, 100 tanker. Wow. Oh man, that is just amazing. Oh, I want that. Oh. Wow. Look at that. Almost a thousand pounds. And I haven't even named it. Okay, that name. Let's see, what is it? First of all, let's take it over here. Let's walk it over here. Yeah, I had everybody all fixed up in a cute way, and then something got in the compound, and everything was killing everything, and they all ran around, and like a bunch of dodos. 
I wonder what uh, kind of weight you can take. 175 pounds. We really need to get it up a little bit so I can ride you. I like to get it to 240. And the rest we can just put melee damage. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you eat that. Okay. See, everybody's over by the doors. <laughs> it would have been such a big mess if I would have left them all out. Over here, they'd be in a little pile. Okay, so let's see here. We can get some water really quick. And we'll just walk you in here. I would run it in here, but I always miss the door. When I'm a veteran gamer, then I will. Okay. Uh, e e wait. 1,500 pounds. Not bad. And when we go tromping across the desert, we can take 1,500 pounds with us. Here's our smithy that we're putting weight on. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. I'm not going to use him quite yet, though. It's not like... I don't know. The desert is so unforgiving. I mean, everybody says that about Ark, but it's really true about the desert. I mean, it's just really true about the desert. And there's Frigid. This is what we're going to take out next. Let's see. We've had our storm. And, um... Let me let's get our ammo and stuff though. We don't want to go out without stuff. What do we have here? We have our rifle bullets here. We're gonna leave this. We can do all this little bitty work stuff later when it's storming and it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all that little busy work. Okay. See? We still weigh 139 pounds. Ugh. Okay. So, what are you doing next? See, something must have happened again. Run. Ah. Oh yeah, something happened because look, they're all down here now. Before they were all over by the trees. Ah, uh, okay. Oh. You're gonna need to follow me and get out of the way. Come on, come over here. There. Now I come over here. A stinger. Look at Stinger. He smashed himself into the gate. Okay. There we go. Let's back out. I'll put you in here with them. Um, your mate. That way you'll make more eggs. I don't know what the eggs are for yet. But um, let's see here. We were upping her melee damage. Oh my goodness, there's, she's got all my stuff for taming. But I'm gonna leave that. We're not taming right at the moment. Right now we're gathering so we can make another pretty place, which is really important. So we need to go right over here and get frigid. Uh, uh, uh. Um, how are we doing? We don't have anything on here, do we? No. Okay. Let's go. We're going to stay in a safe place so we don't have to bring anybody with us. 
I noticed that even though I took all these rocks out the other day, they spawned back in, which I am just delighted about. And uh, earlier, this wasn't working, and it's working now. How exciting. Okay. Hmm. Well, that didn't work out so good. Let's see here. Good grief. anything we're already he eats a lot when he's working okay so we've already got see look at that 500 pounds all right well you're gonna have to follow me because you certainly can't walk and have me on you okay Let's go. He's small enough, he doesn't get stuck on everything. Most of the other animals that are big, they get stuck on everything. I mean, it just gets to be ridiculous. Uh, hello? As I say that, I leave him in the dust, poor baby. Yes, I know, I have the same feeling about it. Okay, come on. Up here. Good, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, how am I gonna do this? Uh, this is good enough. By the way, I just learned how to jump up on things. So, I'm all happy. I'm so proud. <laughs> I'm so proud. Oh dear, took her fruit. Okay, well let's put this in here and we'll put transfer that and that we don't need that that we don't need any of this and I think we'll just if we can keep 10 more pounds yeah we'll at least give her some food while she's working yeah that works out well yeah see we can just run him back and forth on her really quick It doesn't let seem like it wants to. Okay. Oh yeah, that's gonna. Uh... I hope you're not underneath it. Okay, good. All right, let's go. Now can we? Yeah. Now we can. Let's go back. Hey, aren't we having fun, guys? So what are you doing today when the sun comes up? You're going to go shopping. You're going to get on um, Craigslist. Oh, thank you. And um, look for a computer or maybe a PS3, an old one. Remember, you can get really cheap old computers. Oh, that just is so weird to me that um, it does it that way. Let's see here. I'll go like this, and I look at it. Will this work? Yeah, it works better. Okay. Uh, how about this one? You know, if you go on Craigslist, sometimes people are just selling for $50, you know, their old Windows XP or even Windows 7 on an old computer. You can do a lot of things. It doesn't matter what age you are. I mean, let's see, if you wanted to start a business, I was gonna start a little business about making soap. I really enjoyed it. Except the um, fumes from the lye uh, water, I just, it just, I didn't do well with it. So I kind of gave it up. But I still make a lot of it for the holidays and for gifts. And, you know, I get just as much happy satisfaction out of that, giving it for gifts and doing it for the family and friends, than I, for everything else. Oh, no. Okay, darling. Come on. So, 
I mean, I was inspired by um, a news, uh, gosh, I saw it years ago. There was a 90-year-old lady, and she had made thousands of little dresses for the children in Africa, and they were called pillowcase dresses. And if you go online, of course, you can search for it, and you can see how to make them. And they just, it just takes a pillowcase, and she frews them up with little pieces of material and makes little caps on the little sleeve caps and stuff. But the, it's not really, it's just you t the top of it is gone and you um, make it with two little strings that tie at the, at, the, at the top. And they really, I mean, the kids have nothing over there. And she just has a real heart for it. And it keeps her young and alive. And her daughter said, I don't even know how she threads the needle for the sewing machine because I can't. And so it was really cute. And it was a nice news, you know, you need good news and happy things. But it inspired me to think that if she can do that at 90 and the new 70s, like the new, I don't know, 60 or 50, I mean, you feel the same. You don't look old. You don't feel old. Uh, things diminish over time. I mean, mm, my eyesight is still 2020, but uh, at nighttime, it's a little bit dimmer. So I'm really careful about driving at night. I mean, I can. And uh, I notice that if I wash the inside of my windshield wiper, windshields, that it makes a big difference too. Uh, hello, okay. But um, yeah, uh, let's try. Let's see what we can do here. But you know, grandmothers and grandfathers, they can do everything. I mean, we're here at a house that we rent and I was doing a lot of the maintenance on it and finally uh, I got to a point where the maintenance was, it wasn't too hard, but it just was too much. It wasn't too much to do, because I still will do it. It was that you need, I need a professional plumber to come and help, because I don't have all the kind of stuff that he has to be able to ream everything out. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, I have him way overweight. Da -da -da. How about now? But we're overweight. Let's see here. How way overweight are we? Oh my goodness, we're way overweight. Let's see here. Um, I have to drop a little bit of stone. Sorry, stone. Uh, how about? Uh, yeah. And then I could put just a tiny bit of this back. This resource thing is something else. Okay. Let's wander back. Here we go, wandering back. All right, so have a wonderful day. Think of things that you can do for other people. Uh, my grandson said that on Sundays I can go down and help make tacos uh, with a guy who hands them out. So there's something I can do all Sunday afternoon. And then of course I got started on this and seeing how this is only my um, third Twitch day because we had a lot of technical issues on my real, uh, on the real third day that I just deleted them all. I mean, I'd, I'd work for about you know 10 minutes and the system went down and it wasn't anything's fault. It was just some software issues. So that's taken care of. And uh, I really appreciate uh, Sliz for doing that for me because he makes a great admin. Look at all this stone. You wouldn't think you'd need stone. I think that we have enough now for whatever we're gonna do. Now we can just go get sand and then get rid of the stone. We don't need all that. <clears throat> and then we'll take out one of the parasers and we'll get some more. Uh... <laughs> I wanted to get some cactus sap just right up here, but I can't because of the, the elemental. I was really tempted at asking my grandson to get rid of it, but it wouldn't be fair because it's not part of the game. And part of the game is, is part of the game.
and I don't want him to cheat. Oh, come on. Let's see what. How about that one? You can get that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You sure could. All right. Um, what else? Uh, oh, let's do this one. Can you do this one? All right. And then let's just get rid of the stone this time. So we can get more. Yeah. Because I think there's another couple of boulders over here. See? I want to get the sand this time. It's really important. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, the stone is really heavy. I mean, I wish we could keep it, but there's just no way I want to. And then these will respawn, and then tomorrow I can come back, and I can harvest them again, which is great. And I'm overweight, aren't I, already? Let's see here. Yep. Poor guy. Okay. So I'll just get this next one. And, um... Let's see, 18 sand, and it's almost equal. Oh, wrong tool. Right tool. Uh, uh, let's see here. Now we're going to get 36 stone, and, and stone and sand are about equal on this one. Still, even with the other one. Well, no, that doesn't seem fair to me that you get just as much sand as you get stone, but, oh well, it's the way of the world. Because you would think they had a tool that would just be for sand. They want you to make everything out of sand, they should make a tool for it. Okay, how much are we? Um, we have one more in here anywhere? I could get, I could, oh, I got inventory up. Hey, team, that's nice. Let's get rid of the, gee, I don't even know what to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been pumping fortitude. I'd like to pump some movement speed, but boy, the fortitude is so important. I'll have to think about it. We'll think about it together. Because in this game, everything is so different. I mean, before, you know, in all the other games, I mean, I had my health up to four or 500, my stamina, eh, you know, it was like three, 400. Then oxygen and food, I didn't care about, water I didn't care about. Uh, oxygen, I got a little extra when I was on the center because, you know, you want to swim around and get a, 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 a mosasaur or something, but, and then the weight was always high, and I didn't have to worry about melee or movement speed, but here, I'm going to do forward aptitude. I will proceed on the side of caution. Okay. Let's go back and bring all this sand in and start it and making clay. And the next storm, I promise that we'll start making walls and foundations, ceilings. And I think we'll even make some uh, angled roofs, you know, top things where you make an angle, right and left angle so you can have a high, a roof that slants. Um, I used them when we were on uh, the island. I made a really beautiful uh, metal building. And uh, come to find out that, oh my, look at all that. No, that's not what I want. Hello. Okay, so you have everything. You've got your food. Okay. I just wander back over here. And we'll put you over here. For some reason, the animals aggro things, and they come up here and they try to beat all over our adobe. And I, because I was always crouching to get out, I finally just put it in a second door. And once you know, I accidentally turned it around the wrong way. I mean, get a grip. 
Oh, okay, let's just zoom over here. Nothing out to get us. It's kind of nice to keep the desert away from all of this. Like we need all more of these. I hope that they have something in the game that really requires silica pearls. Like 10 million of them. The other day, yesterday, when that system was acting up, I went down to get silica pearls and I found a jerboa floating around. It was Slytherus's and I wanted to go rescue it. And so I swam over and I was underneath it because you have to get underneath it to press E. And lo and behold, I tried to swim back up and I kept rubber banding back down. It was when we were having so many issues. Oh, look at that. The doors, I might have to change it around. The doors open separately. Oh, oh well. I guess you have to close this one first. And you have to crouch anyway. Oh yeah, that's coming out. Right away. We might as well just take it out right now. <laughs> Who knew? Ah, it would make such a big difference. Okay. Hot dig. Okay. Uh-huh. And the whole thing came down. Now it, we're totally unprotected. So, well, actually not, because I put this here just in case. I don't know why, but just in case. It seems really a normal for me. I have a lot of just in case things going on. Okay, so here's this, and we'll get a little bit of clay, a little bit of wood. Well, let's get the fiber first because it doesn't weigh as much. Then a little bit of wood. And let's go over here and make some adobe door um, frame and a door. Oh, actually, we need two. Oh, man. Right, I blew them all up. Just what you want. Because I'm a novice. Pretty soon I'm going to have to quit saying that, you know, you guys. I give myself six months, and this is my beginning of my fifth, so I have two months more. And then it's all over. Then I'm going to have to join the ranks of newbie instead of really newbie. Novice, novice newbie. And so here's a door frame. And so we'll put it right here. And then let's get the other one. I don't know why I didn't put it down in my hot bar. Don't ask. I have no clue. So I'm at number eight. Okay, so let's put number eight up here. And now we can put number nine and number nine. And both the doors will open up the same way. And I can go out and look around. And let's see how we can do the shutting thing here. Oh, isn't that nice? Okay, so E, E. Oh, heaven. All right. It's the little things in life, guys. Oh, no. You're still, you're still following me. I am so sorry. Here you go. They've been following me for forever. And our favorite job, picking up poop. Yippee-doo, huh? Oh, there's more. I know, you have to get rid of one animal. And go back and get the other. Oh, it's already gone. Oh, that made it so nice. And I guess we could just go in here. Try to find, oh, you're out. Huh. It makes you wonder what goes on when you're not around. Look at all the stuff he made out of a few pieces of poop. That's incredible to me how he does that. I probably have enough poop for 10 years of agriculture. I don't think he starves to death, though, if he doesn't have poop, does he? I mean, I, I don't know if it hurts him or not uh, to have poop to, for food. I mean, I never thought to look it up either. I mean, who would, does it need to have poop? 
I, I mean, you get them with no poop in them. And I let it run around in the yard with all the dinos and it didn't gather any poop. So, who knows. Let's go over here. I think I left, didn't, I got it all right. Well, except for the fruit, of course, the fruit. The fruit. Let's make that CS table so we can start crafting stuff up in here for um, the metal. That elementals can't break through and get. Okay, so here we are, fruit. And we're probably done with every bit of gunpowder that we have. It's a whole 63. We are zooming along and we have clay. Uh, which reminds me, we have sand. Oh, let us move it all at once. Oh, that was not very nice of it. And this one. Look at all the sand we got just right inside the compound. Happy days are here. Because there is nothing worse than having to go outside the compound. There you go. Oh, and our favorite thing. And I left a whole bunch of poop in a cabinet. And uh, I didn't know it had a timer on it. And it was disappearing. I'm like, you've got to be kidding. So it needs to go in the dung beetle. And it won't let you put it in the refrigerator. Forget putting it in the refrigerator. Because things don't spoil in the fridge. I had to get a drink. And I have water around here somewhere. And I don't know what I did with it. Uh, so, I've been drinking coffee. So I'll have to go find my water. But not until we get this going. Okay, so let's move sand. The second most favorite thing that we do. See? Look how mundane this is. And exciting because it gives me a chance to say hello. So as I was saying, let's see. So we talked about things that you can do um, if you're a man and you're any age and you're single and you have time on your hands, you could go mow an elderly person's lawn. You could, uh, I don't know. Go read children's books on library day to the kids. They do have that still in libraries, you know, where the kids, you know, come and you read stories to them. Uh, that's still working there. We'll mess with that one, we'll mess with this one. And we'll just start this while we're moving. Sand, the second most favorite thing. Here we go. And then after that, oh, why does it do that? It has to be kind of just perfect. There we go. And then a little bit more like this. And we'll have the last one up here. And this way, this time we'll go all the way over and make sure we get it. There we go. We'll take the clay. And, uh, We're working on it. Okay. Now we know that we're going to have enough thatch, right? Okay. So we have 5,000, 10,000 thatch. And I guess it, it's in increments of 10,000 when it's this light stuff. Uh, 10,000 plus fiber. So we have thatch and fiber, and we only have 10,000 clay. Well, 12. Oh man, this is going to take like gobs of forever. <laughs> but we already went out and got cactus sap galore, so we are humming along. Oh, my first favorite thing to do. And so, we're just going to come in here and that's not what we wanted. We wanted to put it in here. 
I'm thinking gunpowder still. Okay. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, so a thousand. I'll have to come back when it's done some more stuff. And let's see. So we have flint. I'm sure that we have. We just put this in here, didn't we? Uh, I didn't want to always use all the flint. We have to make sure that we have more. Because some things call for just plain flint. Like, uh, yeah, we have more. Okay. That's my favorite little one. Is she cute? Got a little white face, a little maroon and white. Okay, so we're gonna put this in here. And we're gonna need stone. Which of course I don't have. So that means we have to come over here. And let's see how far back we can get. Um, I made it so that I could do one to the other not have to have an intermediary there. Okay, so get this one, give you the batch back. Okay, and then go like this, see? Check it out. How cool is that? Stone, titty, ta-da, ta-da. And over here, we have stone, right? Yep. And over here, we can put that stone in here. Oh. So anyway, uh, write and let me know who you are. It'll be really nice if you say hello and have a sunny day. I'm having a sunny day already. And um, I'm really glad that you're just hanging out with me. It's really fun. And like I said before, you know, when you very first start gaming, no matter what age you are, um, it's not that you want to stay in. It's that you are kind of reluctant to get out like the big gamers and go and get a Warbin and Wyvern Warbin. Um, get a, you know, an elemental. Uh, Slytherus wants all those things. I don't want any of that. I don't want to have a part of, of getting that. He has a mantis. He has a few mantises and they're really nice and they're so cool. And um, that's what you want, guys. You want to uh, make mantis, mantis is happy. They're a passive tame, so good luck. Passively taming a mantis. What are we doing? I um, had wanted to cook some raw prime, but I kinda, what do we have? We have cooked prime. I'm trying to do jerky because it's in so many recipes. And uh, so we have oil and a little bit of spark powder. I, I put tons of spark powder in here because why not? And I've already got 160 uh, meat and uh, 58 prime jerky. So it's, it's moving along, doing its thing. And then here, I think I put some more spoiled meat, yeah. And then, uh, oh, I started moving this in here. I wonder if it, I made Enduros too. See, this hearty dish is like a workout in the form of a meal. Consume it to de to consume it to deal increased melee damage and gain extra stamina regeneration. In fact, it lasts for 15 minutes. And it spoils in, oh my goodness. Two days, two hours and 42 minutes. I didn't know it had a spoiler timer. Hmm. Well, here's the bug repellent. Remember I was telling you that it was disappearing? Yeah. So that was really sad. Yeah, so, spoiler, huh? Everything has a spoiler timer. It's just, uh, I wish there was something that we could use that didn't have a spoiler timer, timer on it. That would be so good. So we need more narco berries, but we're not going to go get those today. Today we're working on building, building supplies and um, metal. So 
So right now, I think that you can craft your CS table here. Crafting table? Yeah, we need wood, stone, and hide. Well, we pretty much have all that right here. Okay. Well, there we are. So, um, summer just ended and school started up again and so many kids are back in school. Uh, I hope that you're doing well in school, uh, whether uh, it's the first grade or you're at your PhD level. And um, you're doing something. Even though you sounds like it's mundane and repetitive, it's worth every minute of it because you're going to need your college, you at least get your high school diploma, everybody. That's important. And if you don't get a high school diploma, don't sweat it. Go get your GED, but get it. Because they, they want that. They want to see somebody has gone over and above just hanging out. Um, so, you know, just from somebody who really cares, I really care about education and taking care of yourself. Like, I've been having, you know, a real time of it thinking that I have to cut back on my fa fat, my salt, you know, all the things that make everything taste so yummy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I've been cutting back on them and it's really, it's really tough. Absolutely no fun at all. So ho ho. Anyway, we have a crafting table that we can put up now, and I thought that uh, we had more pelt than some chain. So I'm just going to stick it in here, and we'll just keep trying to get more and more and more. So let's replace. Let's place this table in here. Let's see. I don't know whether to place it here or here. Uh, it's a tiny table. I'll just place it here. Then that way I can just take things, bring them here to the cabinet, and um, let's see if I need to just get it up a little bit, a little bit, and, and then go a little bit this way. And, well, that wasn't the problem, was it? This is the problem. Okay. There we go. And now, tra-la, we can do all of our metal. And we even have, because I had to go and I had to get all the stone, look at that, stone, behemoth gates, stone walls, all of this, I had to get it all. I had to use engrams that I really am protecting. Oh, it fell right through. Isn't that funny look? <laughs> ah, I love Ark. It is so cool. I don't know if I weigh a whole lot. Let's see. How much do I weigh? 136. I think I I think you can Yeah, I don't know. Oh, you have a level. Hot dig. Let's keep going. Yeah. I'll take that. You don't need it. Uh, what am I doing? Let's see, I wanted to move you. How about if I move you over here next to Stinger? We'll put our little melee guys over here. When I had very first started building, I put these in because it was the outside right there, the desert. And right now, it's another whole paddock. But if there are other people that come on our um, server with us, I will take and I will put a wall from here over, and then that way these two end pieces right here will be uh, available to the public. I don't want, we don't want to ever close anybody off. Or, you know, anything like that. Look at this. I might, I put these here. I thought this was so cool. Except this time I'm going to be more cautious. The last time I got attacked by a mantis. Oh, where anything is. 
is. So it's slithering around and I'm not going to go. See how I am? I don't want to take any chance. When I'm all by myself without Stinger or somebody. What's that? Whoa, hi. Well, I mean, you're in here. They're hard to catch. Uh, let's see here. Oh, quit trying to run into everybody. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. I owe Sliz one. He's letting me use his. I have to always peek in between to make sure. Female. I think that they're both females. And they're really high. Yeah. No, I'm not going to do my most favorite thing. Anyway, let's go see if this one's a male before we go any further. Put it over there. And what are you? Uh, another female. No, we don't need it. You just jump around. And let's see. Do we still have this Carno stuck? We do. Isn't that just ridiculous? Hmm. Well, I think I'll make a Carno saddle while we're at it, too. Okay, so we can... Huh. So we can start moving metal over to our crafting table. And we can just... We've got everything ready. We need to go pick a spot. And I'll join you in a few minutes. Uh, and I'll be right back. Thanks. <laughs>